So, yes, now we have 10%, man, on the show. What's going on, 10? What's happening? What we got going? Man, we got a lot of stuff going, man. We got some fun stuff going, man. But but first, of course, we, 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 we want to introduce you, and we want to get to know your, your story a little better, too, man. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I've already played two of your records, man, off the new project. Okay, yeah, you yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, of course, one of my favorites, Cold Cuts, and then My Little Secret, uh, uh, for sure, man. But uh, we're going to get to those records and the new project. But we want to know, man, about like how how you got to uh, CMG. We want to know about, a little bit more about that story there. Um, so I got on CMG through the, I don't know if y'all remember, the Dollar for Dollar Challenge. Mm-hmm. Got it had, yeah, it was a challenge, and um, I won that, bro. <laughs> nah, like nah. I knew I would, you know, I won that, <laughs> yeah. so that's how we let got me, that. Let, okay, so you, you won off the, the Yo Gotti Challenge. Okay, so yeah. let me let me, let me me play that real quick, and you let me know, is this the right challenge video that I... Go dollar for dollar, shout out for shout out, we can go thotty for thotty. I'm Scottish, you got it. You gave a bitch a burger and I just gave her some knowledge. I'm on some rockin' shit. She was basic, I made her a model bitch. Linda Kravis, I pull on star rockin' shit. She athletic, she built like a soccer bitch. Four, five, but that now I got a soft kick. Don't slip, cause I drip when I'm walkin', bitch. I be rollin' the J with some boss and shit. Rondo got nine on my hip. Like step put 30 in a clip, I'm a quilt. Lay a nigga flat on the floor like a quilt. I just ran off on the plug like a bill. I'm at the top like I'm king of the hill. She freaking, she popping that pussy like pill. I'm trying to fuck, I'm just keeping it real. That pussy like a seal. Ten corona, that young nigga ill. Turn to a dog, you play with my ears. I'm knocking all my eyes out of the field. I like that. So, 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 I like that. I, like, how did you hear about it in the first place? Man, the world heard about it, bro. It got it posted. Yeah. Nigga, I had a meal on the counter, man. Everybody eyes lit up, you know. And then, <laughs> how many would you say? How many people? I know you don't know exactly, but how many? Just guesstimate. How many nah, people you think was in the chat? Everybody I know did it. Everybody in the other city did it. Everybody did it, bro. Yeah. You, like, I said, like I said, he showed a million dollars. You scrolling. That's you scrolling. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, so everybody wanted that spot. But, you know. Came out on top, so. I, 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 did you, like, how how did you think your chances was? You po- you got the video going. Um, how did you think, like, when did you think you had a good chance to win it? From, from the, off the real or from, after the comments on your on your video? The moment he posted it. You knew you had a chance. So you, yeah. Deep belief in yourself. Yeah, yeah, like, all right, so I got, I don't know y'all see that, I got Michael Jordan's had it on my own with the 10 jerseys, right? Okay. okay. And then one of the, the shit that Michael Jordan said that stuck with me is like, he don't, when he go into a game, right? He don't go into the game like, damn, are we finna win the game? He already go into the game like the game I already won. You see what I'm I, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you had that mentality, then it's like, how many points I'm finna score in this game? Not if we finna lose or not. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? No, so I believe, uh, yeah, that's the same mentality that. I take with this, bro. So <laughs> with everything. That, that's powerful, man. Because, that's, I mean, like, you, your mind is a powerful thing. And if you don't see defeat, it, it's not going to happen like that. Facts. You know, you, Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, for know. real, for real. I like that. Love that mentality. Now, man. now, now, I heard there was a little snag with the um, with the challenge, right? There was like some people didn't know if it was the real challenge or not, or, mm-hmm. or and things like that. What what was going on with that? Well, people didn't know if it. What you mean? Like, like there was one time. Well, okay, so the winner got what? How much? How much money? And they were supposed to get a verse too, right? Nah. Uh-uh. Or was that an older challenge? How many? How many challenges have you done? So you know, I right before that, right? Uh huh. I did a, I did a, I did a showcase. It was out in Miami. Okay, showcase, okay. Yeah, it was out in Miami, and then we, I drove to Miami. The winner get a thousand dollars and a verse from uh, Gotti. Okay. That was before the dollar for dollar challenge, though. Okay, oh, okay, that was okay, before okay. the dollar for dollar challenge. I got challenge. signed and everything. And I just went up there, you know, boom, got it. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna win. Get there, it's like sixty artists, sixty five artists trying to get that. Once again, I win. I Same won mentality. it. Same mentality. Same mentality. I won. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And oh uh, yeah, I got my thousand. And then it took them like two months. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm finna be in the studio. I got it, but turns out that whole it was fake, bro. And then they end up giving me like an old Yo Gotti verse. So Yo Gotti wasn't even back in my, that, that showcase. They might even know about that showcase. For bro. real? Yeah, like, <laughs> nah. You know, it, it was fake, bro. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. And I told him about it, you know. Yeah, Once yeah, I yeah, got yeah, yeah. in, he just was laughing at it like, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm mean? like, saying? <laughs> but yeah, people be out here scamming, though, bro. And but, that show you what they can do, because that's 60 it, artists. They probably charge y'all, what, 20 nah, or something to nah, get nah, in? It was like 150, 200, bro. 150, yeah. 200 to get in. To give 60, a thousand bucks away. You know, oh to give a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do the now, math. Now, now, Somebody had a good night that wasn't the artist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I made it back. I'm good. Nah, but yeah, nah, I know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. I know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah. about.
But real quick on those showcases, because it's a lot of showcases in all these different cities throughout the U.S. First of all, did you bring anybody? Like, did you bring a fan base to that showcase? You have to. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. As an artist, look, bro, I'm preaching Breaking right down. now. Pre- yeah. I didn't. I ain't take the uh, the fast route. You guys, anybody know me? Like it was a grind to get to where I'm at right now. So, yeah, y'all do these showcases. There ain't nothing wrong with showcases. You know, I ain't saying they bad or whatever. But if you go there and you're trying to win, you're gonna have to bring your own fan base crowd. You're gonna have to let the whoever the judges know that you got motion. I heard motion is the key word. Like, okay. So if they see people rocking with you, that shit, you won already. Like, yeah, it's yeah. gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's easier for you to win because it's like, all right, damn, they rocking with this shit. Damn, okay, boom, he won. It's, that it's simple, like you're bro. already where you want to be. And then you can plan that yourself. You can just bring your homeboys or girls or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It can already be a plan, but, like, you just got to think, bro. You got to be smart. That's I ain't going to lie. So what, what, when did you really start focusing on trying to, to, to make it in music? Has it been something since you were No, nah, really I've been, young? see, see, I've been out here in Orlando, Florida, like, four years. So I, I was, you know, Memphis my whole life. I was doing music out there, you know, perfecting my craft or whatever, but I ain't really do it serious like that. Yeah. And then I moved to Florida. I said, man, I'm finna go and do this shit, bro. That's why I moved out here for. I'm finna make it. Good. And then, shit, three years later, yeah. Made it. We up. We on the way up. So, uh, what age were you when you moved here? Was that not too long ago? Four years ago. Oh, four years. Yeah. Just four years yeah, ago. Just four okay, years okay. Ago. So, so who, who, like, who were you listening to when you grew, when you uh, was growing up there in Memphis? I would listen to everybody, bro. Like, of course, got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, my see me. I was, I was. It was a lot of like anywhere from Master P, Tupac, my favorite rapper, Boosie, Jeezy, Gates, uh, Dirt, goddamn, like good music, real music, yeah. authentic though, authentic. Exactly. Exactly. That's where I get it from, like real authentic shit. Yeah, and that's what I was uh, telling Pink before the show because even though you're a little younger than me, we still, you know, the previous era of music was just different. It was a lot of different artists in that lane that was, like, popping was on. Like you said, Jeezy, Gotti, all those Boosie, you know what I'm saying, all those guys, and it was all popping all on mm-hmm. in a similar uh, demographic there. So I already knew, like, before you said it growing up, you definitely listen to those guys, man. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, and, and, and they played a little influence on you is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. I ain't Fact. listening to no bullshit, so. Nah, nah, never that, man. Never that. Okay, okay. Now, um, let me see. We're going to have a little fun with you, too, man. Let's get uh, it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do, and and is this an album or a mixtape that you have out right now? Classified as a mixtape. It's class- okay. You it's got po- that feeling of an album. That's why that's I asked. Classic, like that's because... Like I said, that's what I grew up. I grew up off number classic. That's my era. You know, yeah. I mean, really in both, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. You I'm like the middle baby. Like, that's yeah, what I'm, I'm in the both because I'm like I grew up in there, but then I'm growing up and merging into this new like where it's just singles and all that. But like my core is like bodies of work, bro. Like mixtapes, albums, like full that where you can see the whole artist. Right, right, right. I you like know, that. and that's 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 how I'm coming. So that's why I rather I like doing taste better. I hear you. You know, and albums and shit, so they can see the whole. Right, the whole me. Yeah, because it really didn't have a like a mixtape feel. It had an album feel. I'm listening yeah. to it. It was well put together. And I'm it was like, hard yeah. to put it together because I got a bunch of songs, but them the ones we picking. It, it, yeah, it play. You know, no skips. That's yeah. what they saying. So <laughs> that's great. You but know, you got plenty in the tank though. Oh, yeah. You left some oh, bangers yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we just made one yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Hey, for real. You're here for a long time and a good time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a good time. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Let me let me ask you this before we get to the fun stuff. Let me ask you this, man. What would you say to the people that says that um, your music might lack um, might lack substance and um, and depth? What would you say to those people? That my music might like that. Yeah. Shit, they, who? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that ear check. They, they ain't listen to me. <laughs> that's all I preach in my shit, bro. Like, right. I can't preach nothing else, bro. Like. It be hard for me to really just go and make, just grab something from a play. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's easier if you, like, dig in. Because, like, sometimes I go in the studio, I can't even come up with nothing. Mm-hmm. Even though I be here for hours on hours, I'm going to keep it real. And sometimes it just flow out. I don't even have to really think it just come out of me. It's because it's coming from a real place. I don't really like to force songs Fact. like that. But 
You got some artists that come here and just talk. I can't do that. Do you do you have situations where like you're not in the studio, you're not near the studio, but something hits you and you're like, I gotta get this somewhere. Notes. Yeah. I type it in my notes or I say it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's and that's my favorite part of ten percent is that is the introspective ten, right? So the out the blue. That's my favorite song from your period. Yeah. And then you 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 jump on this album with cold cuts. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the, my favorite uh, party. But you can you get you know you can turn up. You can make that type of music if you want to. We got that too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got that you too. You gotta got, have it, like I said in this single. You gotta era, have it. TikTok era. You gotta have it. Yeah, yeah. You sure. got you know your, your single with uh with, with Money Bad, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now is that did that is that on it? Was that taken off? What? Was that taken off the project? On my project? Yeah. Nah, or is that the only feature on the project? That's the only bit. That's the only feature that's, on the project. That's the right? only feature that we put on now. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's but what I'm but asking. really, I wanted ten on there because I like I'm all about branding. Really, you know. So yeah, ten yeah, song, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I got you. Oh, but we we threw Major Pain on there because is I mean it just dropped on on the CMG album. Right. Yeah. So it was like why not? It's probably like it's really like a bonus it's track on like the track. Yeah, it's like yeah, a bonus that's probably the best way to describe it. Yeah. So it's really <clears> ten, but you add that one on there. Can you say how many like uh, uh you know f big features that you have in the tank or like? Shit. Uh, can you name some of the artists? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Man, I got uh, I got, got man, I got I got some names on them, man. I say one. I got Mozzie, man. Free Mozzie. You got Mozzie? Yeah, yeah. Um, Mozzie because I sure. previewed that a while back. Okay. Well, we both previewed it, but on I got your IG. Like, yeah, right? yeah, both, yeah. Yeah. So I got some in with Mozzie, Free Dude, you okay. know, Free Fella. And then we got the video shot and everything. For real? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where y'all shot it at? Uh, I had to go here, bro. You wanted me yeah, to shoot yeah, it out yeah, there, yeah. Cali. You got me. Yeah, hey, and why not? Why not? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. in Cali then. <laughs> I love Cali, bro. Facts, facts. Nah, all right. I got, all some, right. I, got a lot of, I got a lot of shit coming, though. Yeah. That's good. I try to make everything, like, I just draw the tape, right? Mm -hmm. But my mind I already on my next one before I even drop this one. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. kind of how you got to be with this. No, nah, that is the way to be. That is the yeah, way to be. Yeah, so. Yeah. And you, and you just came off tour not too long ago, right? Uh, 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 uh what you call that? Man, I've been just, man, I've been around. I've been hustling, working. bro. Just been working. <laughs> like, yeah, we, you know, the Got It Bass, we just did that uh, big, man. I'm talking about big, bro. Gotti Bass is like the, the staple of the city. Like he had them every year. And a lot of artists come and perform. Yeah, yeah. He bring out, <laughs> he bring out everybody. But it's crazy cause like, um, usually I be in the crowd watching them joints, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then I just and now you now there. I'm here on the stage performing with Gotti, bro. So it's just imagine how that feels, bro. You know what I'm saying that's a crazy feeling. Gotta that be is. a crazy feeling. Yo, yo. Did you get nervous when you taking the stage, or you're good? Nah, see, the thing about being nervous is like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you gonna get nervous every time. You can ask any big artist. They, I don't care how long they've been in the game, you still gonna get nervous, but like, you ain't gonna let it show. You can't let it show. Nah, I hear you. I, I hear that, I, I've heard if you don't feel li at least a little nervous, so you, you, you might be dead. Yeah, I'm gonna check on yourself. <laughs> you, you gotta check on yourself. You gotta check on yourself. <laughs> yeah. nah. What, what, what? What can you tell the people about Gotti? Like the people, you know, of course we never met him, but we love his music, see his music. Right. But your first time meeting him, what can you confirm that you was already thinking about him in the first place? Ball shit. Yeah. Ball shit, real life. Just oh, real, oh, everything, real. everything strategic. Like, nothing bro do is for no reason. He already knowing what's going on. Like, that's just really, and I, that's how I think, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a part of the why we click like that, because just come growing up in Memphis, like I swear to God, bro, that's how we think, bro. We all think alike. Like I ain't, it's something, it's weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that and shit, about that paper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> about that paper. Man, hey, that like I said, man, I got a soccer team, bro. Like I mean, shit. I'm a big soccer guy. Here, wait, he, 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 what, what team is he involved with? DC United. I love it, man. Yeah, I, I love DC it. United, I'm gonna own him, bro. Yeah, <laughs> man. Got Wayne Rooney as coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah pink huge and soccer. So, That's man. pretty awesome, man. That's pretty awesome. Nah, Has he taken cool. you to a, to a game? Not nah, yet. I'm trying to go oh, to one. Of them. Invite me too, to man. <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave my number with you. I'm I ain't never been to a soccer game. <laughs> yeah, man. I ain't never been to a soccer game. Yeah, it's just seeing like, bro, came from the city I came from. I'm knowing how it is. 
And just fast forward, this my uh, own over soccer team. But that's like, wild. Yeah, like bro. a big jump, though. Like, yeah. That's... I know Little League. You know what I'm saying? The big league. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> <The big> <laughs> so, nah, that's hard. That's awesome. Yeah, man. That's that's the little kid thing, man. Now, that's what's up, man.